This week we're going to be beginning our look into Greek medicine. And to start off with, we need to look at one of the more important figures. Hippocrates was a Greek physician, or doctor, born in 460 BC on the island of Kos in Greece. He's important to our study of medicine because he based his medical practice on observation and study of the human body and rejected the superstitious ideas of the time. As well as this, he believed that the body must be treated as a whole, rather than just a series of parts. A simplified example of this today might be if you have a cold. The first symptom of the cold is usually a runny nose, right? Well, Hippocrates would have understood that there was something wrong with your body as a whole, some form of illness, rather than just something wrong with your nose in particular. Some of Hippocrates' beliefs and practices are as follows. He accurately described disease symptoms. He believed in the natural healing process, fresh air, rest, a good diet, and cleanliness. He also noted that the same disease could have different levels of intensity and could affect different people in different ways. He also developed an oath of medical ethics which even today doctors swear to follow. This is called the Hippocratic Oath, and you can actually see a copy of one of the original scrolls just here. Can you guess what language it's written in? He wrote a book called On the Physician, which recommends that physicians or doctors should always be well-kempt, honest, calm, understanding, and serious. A physician following Hippocrates' ways would follow this very carefully. They would also be very detailed in how they lit the area, the kinds of people they worked with, the kinds of tools they used, techniques they used, and even the length of their fingernails. They also made careful and regular notes of all symptoms. Much like today, it was things like complexion, Pulse, fever, pain, movement, and excretions, all noted down. However, not everything that Hippocrates practiced is this similar to modern medicine. For example, Hippocrates is usually credited with applying the idea of the four humors to medicine. Let's take a look at this quote attributed to Hippocrates to understand the four humors a bit more. The human body contains blood, phlegm, yellow bile, and black bile. These are the things that make up its constitution and cause its pains and health. Health is primarily that state in which these constituent substances are in the correct proportion to each other, both in strength and quantity, and are well mixed. Pain occurs when one of the substances presents either a deficiency or an excess, or is separated in the body and not mixed with the others. To sum this up then, the theory of the four humors is this idea that the human body contains four different liquids or humors, blood, phlegm, yellow bile, black bile. In a healthy person, these are all in balance and of the right amount. But if they get out of balance, for example, if you have too much blood or not enough yellow bile, then you might get sick. So in this week's lesson, we're going to be looking at the four humans in a bit more depth and look at how people were treated by Greek medicine. Make sure that you come to class this week prepared with any questions you might have about the topic. See you then.